Black Pearl training request. The Denolix organization wanted to update their paper-based training processes to become more efficient and to provide their users with an easy way to request training and find training-related information. Using K2 Black Pearl, the Denolix team built an application that meets all their needs, from entering course information to viewing a history of employee training. Let's take a look at the solution from the end user's perspective. First, we'll log in as Sarah, the training administrator. Sarah needs to add a new course to the course catalog. She goes to the training session maintenance site to add the new course. The course is a special Black Pearl training course being held for internal Denolix employees. Sarah sets up a description, chooses an instructor, and selects the dates the class will be held. After clicking on Insert, the new course is now available for users to request. Next, we'll log in as Veronica. Veronica is a systems engineer in the operations department. Veronica has just heard about the Black Pearl training course being held in March and would like to attend. She opens her department portal and selects the Submit Training Request link. A training request form opens with all of Veronica's contact information pre-populated. Veronica selects the Black Pearl training course and verifies that the class is being held in March. She selects a secondary contact and submits the form. Veronica notes the request number that has been assigned to her request. At this point, Veronica can verify that her request has been sent to her manager by checking the training request log on the HR portal. Opening the training record log, she finds her request and verifies that it has been assigned to a manager. At any time during the process, Veronica can come here to see the status of her request. Clicking on the View Process link will give her a complete view of where her request is and how many more steps it needs to go through. Now we'll log in as Andrew, Veronica's manager. Andrew opens the operations portal and notices he has a couple of tasks waiting for his approval. He opens his work list and sees that there's a request for training. Andrew could open the form from the work list to review all the information in the request, but he knows that this is Veronica's request, so wants to approve it immediately. He selects the item from the work list and selects Approved from the Batch Action drop-down. The Batch Action functionality allows Andrew to approve requests quickly and easily. Once the request has been approved, it's taken off of Andrew's work list. Now the request is routed to HR for a final approval. Jeff in the HR department opens his email for the day and notices that he's gotten an email about a training request that is awaiting his approval. He opens the email and clicks on the link to open the training request. He sees that the request is for Veronica and that it's for the Black Pearl course being held in March. Before he approves the request, he wants to make sure that Veronica hasn't taken too many training days. He checks the training report on the HR portal and sees that Veronica has taken 10 training days. Veronica can take up to 15 days of training, so he can go ahead and approve the request. Going back to the form, he selects Approved and submits the form. At this point, the request has been approved and Veronica can now go to the course. Upon the completion of the course, Veronica needs to log into the portal to complete the training feedback form. She opens her department portal and clicks on her work list. She clicks on the task in her work list, which opens the feedback form. Veronica enjoyed the class and gives it very high marks. 
After completing her comments, she submits the form, and at that point the request is completed. Using the K2 Black Pearl platform, Denalix has successfully implemented a solution that meets all their requirements for providing a user-friendly training application.